They called it their second home, but now that second home is gone. A uh, Fort Collins family is desperately looking for their stolen trailer. They say it disappeared from the facility they stored it at just a few weeks ago, and still it's nowhere to be found. I sat down with them as they shared more about what happened and the message they are sending to others. It's definitely a stress reliever. And you get to spend quality time with each other. Kalina Elfgren and Austin Kissel use camping as a way to escape from everyday life. They used to go all the time before their four month old daughter Ashlyn came into the picture. But now they don't know when the next trip will be because someone stole their trailer. I just like broke down crying, called him and I was like, Sure, sure enough, our camper's gone. The couple had their trailer parked not far from their home at JNL Storage in this spot, Lot 12, a storage facility they found on Facebook Marketplace. We said, yeah, this looks pretty secure from our last place, because our last place was, you just drove in and... There was no gate or... No, no gate, nothing. Gate. But JNL Storage has a locked front gate that only leasees have access to. And inside the facility, the couple had the trailer locked up in a few spots to deter someone from taking it, which didn't work. The gate was cut to get into the facility. The tongue lock on the camper was cut with bolt cutters. And they hooked up to it and just ripped the, the tire lock apart with, you know, with the weight of the camper. Inside the trailer was this four-wheeler, outdoor equipment, winter clothes, and supplies for their dog. They suspect it was stolen sometime after October 27th, the last time they saw it there, until they went back the first week of November, only to find it was gone. Nothing else was touched. They reported the theft to the Larimer County Sheriff's Office, who told Denver 7 they don't have any leads on suspects or surveillance photos of the area. Investigators say there's never been a theft there before. I don't know if I was targeted, but someone, I feel like it was someone within that storage unit. Denver 7 also reached out to the owner of the facility who says they've had renters in the facility for the past 10 years and nothing like this has ever happened before. The rental agreement the couple signed back in July says the leaseor is not liable for theft. They're offering this advice to others. Take pictures and log VIN numbers and stuff like that. Like it's heartbreaking. The couple says someone else's camper is now parked in their spot despite them still paying for it, but says the owner did tell them they will get reimbursed. I reached out to the owner on that today and have yet to hear back from them.